Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. So, you probably could probably hear an engine running in the background. Looks like the China off-road cart is moving off to a new home. Sorry if the engine's loud, I'm letting it warm up a bit. So, I'm going to um, trade this for some stuff you guys will see shortly, some Honda stuff. And I've mentioned a lot of times that I'm trying to um, trying to set up my hoard so that there's stuff that I'm like into, which is more Honda than um, these go-kart type things. Um, I fit in there. I climbed in there. I'm about 5'8". Um, so, somebody 5'8 will fit. You can theoretically put two people in there. This is the back of the seat. I just, it's just loose in there for now for the to move it down. Um, so, that's what it looks like in all its glory. And you guys will see where it goes soon. Some of you who follow my channel and watch the traffic will um, will probably see some of the comments that have gone by. And uh, and you know you'll you'll know you know where she's going. Just let that drag. Just want to make sure nothing nothing's gonna kind of grab onto anything and snap off. This, um, this is the way I, I tow. I kind of lift the front end up enough to unload it. Um, and then, you know, just pop this thing into gear and drive. So let's take a ride. Got to get it down to the lower driveway. Come on, girl. Sometimes going through the narrow stuff, the back cart has a bit of a mind of its own, but we seem to be doing okay, though it doesn't sound great. So this is, um, yeah, this is, this is going up by Canada, and then the other two go-karts, the uh, blue one by the garage, or the blue one that's kind of leaning up against the wall over there, that's going to go to uh, Udizzy, and so is the, um, the gray one. I'm going to pull the engine, back wheels, and axle out of it, and I'm going to send that Udizzy's way also. I never quite know what I have. Until I'm, uh, oops. Until I'm kind of like sorting through it, then I'll go like, "Wow, I got three go karts around here. I didn't realize I had three go karts, and I don't like go karts or four go karts." So, you know, um, so that'll get three of the four out of here. The last one left will be the Yerf dog, and I guess somebody pointed out to me that the. Um, that this is actually a go-kart. They also pointed out to me that uh, that um, I'm going to need like spinal work after driving that around. They say it's a real horrible rider. Um, you know, when you sit on uh, on stuff such that your tailbone is right in the pan and your legs um, are bent like that, you don't. You're not supporting any of your weight with your legs all your back just takes you know all the slams right or right right to the base of, of your spine and for you young kids you still got padding in between the uh the vertebra of your spine if you're uh, old guys like me and some of my compatriots what you have between the uh, vertebra of your spine is arthritis so as you uh, you go jarring along, what you're doing is um, 
you're beating you're beating yourself up um, so I guess that's about it yeah this is gonna be the last the last go-kart um, floating floating around um, there may or may not be a deal cooking for it a couple of people have asked so I'm I'm debating whether to put a little time and effort into it and ship it out to where my son lives um, out in Pennsylvania there or if I should say the heck with it just stick with the all-terrain vehicles I don't know Every day I wake up, something's different. The only nice thing about working on that Yerf dog is there's plenty of space to do whatever you want. And um, somebody suggested, like, putting a Honda um, all-terrain vehicle motor on it. And it would really be pretty easy to do. There's plenty of space to do that. And you already have um, the whole axle um, motor cradle. So should you decide to do that, it would... It would really be um, pretty easy. You could keep the back suspension in it and everything. And it also has uh, front suspension. Though, uh, in all honesty, I did take this out for a ride. And it's one of the reasons why I haven't done much with, with it. It is, uh, it's still a little bit abusive. Uh, you know, for you young guys, no. But for us old guys, it makes one hurt. So, um, anyway, folks, I guess I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. It's time for me to do the work part of the job, which is, um, now i got to pick up that off-roader and uh, load it. Um, when I brought it home, the person I bought it from helped me get it in the truck. Um, in my case, I'm going to have to, have to kind of do it myself. Um, yeah, I don't have... I don't have like a a Brian floating around or uh, David doesn't live next door or anything, so I can't can't call anybody. To, it's just me. Well, I guess that's the good thing. When the kids grow up, they kind of leave. But the bad thing is, when they leave, you got to pick up and put down everything yourself. All right, folks. I want to thank you all for watching and commenting and subscribing. Remember to keep your feet down. Keep your Heads up and please get out there and enjoy all your days. Bye now, folks.